G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, the very aptly timed thunderclap. Welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to the blizzard. However, the blizzard sounds cold, it's just got a little warmer. I have a brand new friend, I'm now, I now have the Baker Twins, my, uh, my muffin baker business is about to take off. But before I can start delving into the delicious treat arts, I need to face down another Blood Moon Hall which is coming in only a matter of hours. I actually think I did a pretty bang up job yesterday of doing a lot of the hard yakka ahead of time. I've got my doors on me, got my spikes on me. I need a lot of wood, so that's going to be a rather pressing issue for the day. But I did so much good work yesterday on construction and improvements that I think I'm actually in a much better position now than I would have been otherwise. Straight off the side of the balcony. My trees are starting to grow. You're not quite big and strong enough yet to give me the wood that I need. So I'll let you, I'll let you stay there for the moment. I didn't, I didn't get warm. I didn't get warm. I didn't get my campfire buff going before I left. It hasn't cooked me just yet, but it won't be long before I'm basically just a floating ice cube. I've got the warmth, but the cold has set in. <laughs> like I, was, I saw that before I left, because otherwise I'd have been a pop school doing not a lot of anything and struggling to move. You're a tree. Goodbye, tree. Give me all that wood. Thank you very much. All of these trees have got to go. I can't go buy any fat stacks of wood from any of the traders. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. I do have a chainsaw, but... I mean, ooh, that's a 900 tree as well, but the axe is making pretty good dents in it anyway. I don't really want to waste the fuel given it's so hard to get. This is fun. This is fun. I'm not about that min-maxing life. I actually think... There might be a semi-decent chance. If I do a quick, like, tier 2, maybe a tier 3 quest for Jen, if there's something really tempting there. If I bang out a quick little job for her, she might actually give me... I don't need you. I'll keep her here. She might actually give me a stack of wood as a reward. And, you know, I'm not going to turn my nose up with that at all, am I? You've got a health bar. You've got some hackers candies. You don't have any sugar bars, but that's all right. G'day, Jen. You got the dukes. Um... Oh. I'm not, I'm, not allowed, I'm not allowed to talk to you yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm uh, not allowed to talk to Jen until 6 a.m. or 5 past 6, actually. Just not allowed. Dems the rules. She's a girl of standards, you know? She won't break her for anyone. <laughs> Even if had a mustache. There's this little bit of rubble out here with a nice big dead tree sticking out of it. Oh, you're a big fat boy, too. Lots of wood out of you. Thank you. Now I've got a thousand wood and a little bit of coal. Not too bad. I mean, I've got a little bit of time to kill. What is this place? The Smoky Loft. I don't haven't been through here before. I don't know what's actually underneath the snow at all. I'll take you, Sean. Is there... Oh, okay. Is there like a way down in... Oh, there's a box. There's a box. Hup. Down we go to you. Down we go to you. There's not much else really happening down here. Oh, except for that. Shit, I tried to pick the lock and just beat it open instead. Speaking of beating things open, there goes your nose. I was going to say, I did hear another gurgle from someone in here somewhere. Are you... Oh, there's a car. A white minivan. I know the zombies are coming, but I have a quick little looting spree for nothing in you. I don't know who's coming my way, but I have to go and try and find him. Oh, there you are. There you are. Hold on a second. I was going to say, I don't want to swing the, the sledgey at you because I might accidentally break the car and explode us all to kingdom come, but Shotgun did a good job on you. Some dark tape, thank you. But I did run straight past. It's a cracker book box as well. Gimme, 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 gimme. Sledgehammer book, and I can have like a quality two steel sledgey boy. That's a good bloody time of ever, I bloody heard it. What's it going to take, though, to get to the next level? Still sledgy, like a tier 2 to tier 1, mostly interchangeable. But if I go to you, nope, wrong books, you, sledgehammers, tier 3, needs another 9. No, it's not completely out of the question, probably a bit of an ask, but I reckon I'll be able to get there. There's not like a whole heap of anything else in here. There's, I definitely cleared out all of this, yes I did. There's a staircase up to some other level, but what's actually going to be up here, I don't think much. Because I, I, I already came in from the roof level, you know? I already saw that the whole place is just a ruin, so... Is it just... It's just the way out. There's probably, like, some small loot buried in here somewhere. Like, who knows where? Somewhere around. It's just, like, a remnant POI rather than a proper one. So I don't think there's much... Uh, there's no, like, loot room or anything like that. I think that's about it. 
All right, well, Jen's now open. Oh, I'm getting all, oh, I'm getting real, real frosty. Hang on a second. Whack down a campfire. I'm going to use two slips of paper to keep myself warm. Thank you. Whatever does the job, does the job. Before I leave, though, there's this indentation just here. Why is there, why is there an indentation in the snow? Is there something down underneath, like a garage or something? I just went through like, the main house, but I didn't check out anything else. It's a long way down, whatever it is. It might actually, just, you know, it's an indentation. Probably just like a ditch or something in the ground. Down to here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a pool. Oh, it's a pool. All right. Well, if I don't know anything about the sim, someone's going to take rid, uh, get rid of that ladder and drown me in that. So, no, thank you. Jen, I'm going to come back to you and see if you've got a job for me. I'm seeing you to get some wood. All right. Let's try this well, again, shall we? the cat dragged in? Well, if there's a cat around, it did drag me in by the earlobes. Bloody hurt though, cat's teeth are sharp. Um, you do not have any sledgehammer books, as most I'm looking for now. Do you have wood? You do not have wood. All right. Too bad I couldn't help you. That's all fine. Uh, probably it's here five might be a bit much for me there, Jen. Let's see, three infested clear. Ooh, at Honeypot Farms. Thanks, I knew you wouldn't let me down. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. Doing quests on a horde day is not really my idea of a good time, but... You know what? First time for everything. First time for everything. A little bit of wall, a little bit of how you go, and a little bit of catch you later. Honeypot Farms. It's a relatively small POI. It does have the bunker at the end and potentially some decent loot, but it is also an infestation. I'm doing this. If, she, if, if Jess wants to give me like 2,000 wood for doing this job, that would be sick. But I know that if she does, she'll also offer like a crucible or something and undo the entire reason for doing this. I'm just going to chuck all the things that I need. Ooh. I'm going to baker inside a baker. His name's Brian. He actually has a name. Old mate Brian is the one with the club. Fair enough then. I've got bakerception going on. Baker inside a baker. Quickly touch you. Just mildly fall through the world, but now where I came. Are you going to follow me down here? I don't think you will, so I'll take you with me and do it the manual way. All the way down to you. This should be where the first of the zombies come out to say g'day. There's a wood pile. Oh, that's a rad. That's a rad. I love Brian back, but I thought I missed that completely, but now we're all good. Gone. Gone. Good. Golly gosh, I fucking love the shotgun so much. This is why, this is why I was so excited to have a bag. Look at the fucking damage that it brings. Couple of books scattered around as well with electrical traps and shotgun crafting. I can make a quality two pumpy forges. Thank you. So the, the pumping and the sledge is going hand in hand. I actually kind of froth that. Get the shotgun back out again because there's going to be more zombies. G'day, g'day. Yeah, I sound like someone spawned behind me as well. Loza note. Yeti no, fuck me dead, dude. How could you not love it? I feel like every time I take a break away from the shotgun, as soon as I come back to it again, I'm reminded of why I fell in love with it in the first place. There's not much better. In seven days, there's not much better than a red hot pumping puppy. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Holy shit, that's a lot. You need to drop, there's a hole in the door that I'd very much like to use. Missed that, put some holes in the zombies too. Wow, I walked into the kitchen and there was a... I was going to say something was cooking something. You've got a very jiggly tongue, so whatever was cooking, I don't really want a bar of. I'm going to slap on a first aid bando. Infestation's a pretty serious business and don't want to get myself underdone. Great both of those. I can now make a hubcap landmine. Thank you. Sledgies. That was two sledgy books. That's pretty bloody exciting. Some shotgun rounds. Hit you and hit you. Take all the springs with me. I'm, I, I should put Brian. Is it? Are you called Brian as well? I don't. I don't know. The other one was definitely called Brian. You. I just called Baker. It's got Baker and Brian. Oh, huh? whatever works. Whatever works. As long as I can tell them apart. I've got to dig my way through all the snow in the backyard to get to like the the shed that's at the end. I haven't even gone and found any of like the um the honey giving stumps anywhere either. That's the whole point of this POI. Used to have a better chance of giving you honey, but not even gonna go find it. There's one of the ape ape apiaries. There's apiary and aviary. Sounds like I've woken up all the ones that are in the the shed as well. Which one's the bee? I think it's the P. I think it's the apiary is the bees and the aviary for avian is the birds. I can hear them all beating on shit. Shouldn't be too far in front of me, I don't think. 
I am worried about getting trapped in here, trapped in the tunnel with a bunch of zombies. That is a re rather decent concern of mine. Quickly murder you. Wake up everybody else while I'm here soon. Oh, goodness gracious. A spider popped up and copped that right in its mandibles. I was going to say, that spider tried to save you, but nothing's going to save you. <laughs> Fuck. Mwah. I just want to, like, lick this shotgun. Let it know how much I feel about it. I fucking love this thing. There's actually one of the subs there. Not going to turn it down. Got a hunting out of it, too. Thank you. There's a couple of those scattered around the POI, but I think like, there's also one, like, right out the front next to the road. It's just too much digging. It's just too much digging to go and try and find it. Sneak on through here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there should be a barn just on the other side of this, if I'm remembering the POI correctly. My memory is like I stepped on goldfish at the best of times, so who bloody knows what I'm coming up against? That's not what I'm looking for. Where's the barn? It's a big bloody building. How have I lost it? No, that way, please. There it is. Right, we're good. There's someone up there. I can see the blue fog. Can I go like that? Give myself a little bit of elevation so I can hopefully see just over the top. That'll do. I did hit him, but I didn't hit him enough. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to wait for this here. I'm going to wait for this right here. You can come to that door whenever you're bloody ready. I don't have... But that'll do. I don't have any better options. I don't have any, like, pipe bombs or molotovs or anything. I'm a little bit trapped, a little bit stuck. Oh, Baza! Holy! Baza came out of nowhere. You're all rinsed. Couple up the top. Oh, Loz up. Yeah, nah, and yeah, nah to you too. Hang on. There you go. There you go. Sit pretty and cop that in the chin. Oh, I feel... I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. There's a gigantic little divot in the snow, which I think is where the hatch is going to be to go down. Yeah, there it is. Into the bunker down below. So I'm not sure why it does that. Maybe like the terrain... Oh, because this is all built. So it's taking the little terrain and putting the, um, the snow on top of it like that. This is going to be a bit of a fight. Baz is up there somewhere. Crouch. I'm a little cold. That's okay. Can I open you quietly with the crossbow? I can. Lovely. You'll have a little jiggle on the loo, but... Shit. Fuck it. Yeah, nah. I, I tried to go stealthy. Game was like, no. I can reload the shotgun really bloody fast, though. So... Well, good. Well, why don't I even try and go stealth? Why stealth when shotgun? Shotgun is the pinnacle of stealth weaponry. Another workstation book. Thank you. I'll take the chairs and scrap them for the metal. Baz is holding all the rest of my... I called you Baz, huh? All mates claim is Brian. Is there a way I can rename them? I, I, I don't know. If there is, I'm going to actually give him the name Bazza so he's not that officially forever. Yeah, you care about something? Got to put a got to put a name on it. That's what Beyonce told us. That's the infested cash. Some good stuff in you. Going to break it down for the steel, though. Especially now I can make... I'm not going to make the tier twos. I don't think the tier two sledgy nor the tier two pumpy. I think I'll wait till I can make a tier three because hopefully that will also give me a uh, another mod slot as well. Shamway and passing gas. Check medical supplies first, though, for medical book, car supplies for salvaging and repairing, and a wheel as well. Last but not least, a Vegemite Sanger and the Leather Trunks got a pistol book I've already read, some food. I'll chuck in immediately and take the rest. All right, I'll break all these down for the springs and get out again. It's already midday. We're halfway towards the horde and haven't set foot in our base yet. You, oh my goodness, it's so far away as well. It's all the way out in the middle of nowhere. I'll save you for later. But if there's a drop coming in, does that mean that it's trade restock day today as well? I didn't even look. I didn't even look. I just went to Jen's. I was looking for wood and that was about it. I didn't even check to see if I had anything good going on. Break you as well. All right, got to get up and out. Up and out. It's a long way out of the ditch, but we'll make it work. I also don't really have any... Oh, shit. I don't have any wood. Well, I do have some wood, but not enough that I want to sacrifice what I have to make myself a ladder. Could you please move? That's the wrong tool. That's a better tool. Come on. Come on. Another one. There you go. There you go. Can we squeeze? Squeeze? Not quite. Well, let's see if my plan did actually work. Can I, Jenny girl? What are you going to give me? A tier spend? 5 hunting rifle? Crafting steel? No wood. No wood. As much as I would like to take the steel, I'd rather take the crafting skill magazines. I've already got a better lever action back at my horde base anyway, so I'll take you. Uh, I will actually check your inventory. 
Now, I definitely burned through it before. Slayer. No, that's not how you spell Sledgy at all. You're selling a steel Sledgy, but no steels. Uh, no, no Sledgy books. So, a little bit of gunpowder, some bullet tips, some feathers, sham chowder. Not a lot of anything, is there? I mean, you're gonna. Oh, we've got another triple storage pocket mod, but I have as many as I need, so we're all good on that front. Thank you. Nothing really jumping out at me as something that's particularly worth buying. I'll take you, though. I will take, like, the regular stuff I normally take. I'll take the glues. I'll take the coal. I'll take the paper. I'll take the bullet casings. Um, uh, some spuds. Take some spuds. Take some... Oh. No. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of space. I'm out of space. You'd find something you'd yeah, uh, well, just hold that thought, Jenny girl, because I do have a lot of things on me that I don't really need right now, like cornmeal and... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me telling you that I dig you. Got a little bit of space. Where was gunpowder and bullet tips? That that'll do us. That'll do us, I think. All right, Jen. I hope I see you Thanks in the morning. This shit's about to go down. Okay, I've come back home. Know. This is gonna be my last run back at my digs before I face the horde. So drop everything off. Uh, also, Baza, you wanna come with me, please, so I can put you down. Uh, just there. You've still got. You've still got brine in your pockets, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. Yeah, there you are. There's... It definitely said brine last time, didn't it? It definitely said that. I wasn't imagining it, but... All right, fair enough then. I'm going to put you, whatever I can, away. Quickly open up the books. Hunting, wiring, and machine guns. None of the books that I actually need. I think we're about as good as I'm going to be out of here. There's nothing else I need to really stack up or do anything with. You're all fine on that front. I'll grab some extra repair kits. You're all fine to be left behind, I'm pretty sure. Nothing else I really desperately need. I've got my wood, got my conga, got my cobble, got my doors, got my spikes. All right, I think that is going to do us. No, I want to pick you up. Not show me inventory. Okay, it's 3 p.m., I'm, yeah, I'm not going to make the new weapons. These are fine. I can repair them if I need to. Um, I've got the ammo out there. I've got the building materials. I've got repair kits. I've got the electricity stuff. I might try and run this like a little bit of electricity. Just like just some. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. I, I'm just going to push. I'm going to push. Get all the way out to the horde base. I'll warm myself up then. But if I run at least one electric fence like at those concrete ladders where they're going to try and break through, as like a last resort, that will probably be the best, uh, best spot for it. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I've got my drawbridge up and going. Uh, the handles are on. Yeah, that's all right. That's right, the right side. So if I do that, that's no longer parthing. If I do that, that is parthing. So at least I have a way to undo that should I need to. You're cooking me up some extra food and things, which is all nice and good. Right. I should have in you, I think it was. Yeah, there we go. Put all of that that can stack in you, into there. I'm going to put my bike and my everyday carry stuff into you. I've got a baker, and I've got Brian. I assume that's Brian. Bike can go in there too. All right, I need to upgrade the rest of that stuff up the top to be at least cobblestone, maybe not concrete, but one of the two for sure. Quickly drop you. Oh, it's a murder spree. The crossbow's feeling really good at the moment. Oh, that's a bit dicey. Look at that. If I place the door on the outside block like I wanted to, like I wanted to put you there so that I could have it hinging out to the left. Doesn't really matter so much, but it's pink out there. It's nice and supported on the inside. That'll do. That'll do nicely. All right, we're all good then. So now this cage is nice and secure. Uh, you lot need to be concrete more than anything else. I'm going to stick with you. All the way up, please. What's the time? Four o'clock. I got time. I got time. I'm not rushing. Don't do anything dumb. Don't do anything silly. Don't take any unnecessary gambles. Just get your base up and sorted. Chuck some spikes on the roof or any PGs that might show up and get ready for what's coming. No idea what to do with Brian, the sledgehammer baker. I mean, he's basically rolling around with a rolling pin. That'd be very on theme for him. Not sure what I'm going to do with him, but I'll put him somewhere. <laughs> If shit kicks off, I'd rather have him than not. It's definitely harder to see which of these, um, what are they called? Like railings? Which of these railings are still wood and which are coal and which are concrete? But oh, that's not why I'm up here. Instead, I'm up here to put down some spikes. I'm going to start on the corners. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five by five. I need 25, so I'm going to need another seven spikes, please. Up to you. Right after that, I'm getting really bloody cold. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Look, I've got a lot of issues right now. You're just going to have to suck it up for a little bit. Just, I don't know, shiver in your boots or something. Shiver your timbers like a pirate if you have to. Just try and stay warm while I fix this up. I've got all the spikes in. That looks... 
deceptively like, yeah, I was going to say, like a building block to me. It's a little bit paler. Do I want to... Like, these are already cobblestoned. I've got a, a good amount of concrete. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I could use the experience. Why not? I'll upgrade them all. Concreting stuff is really good for XP grinding. So put you all up. Plus, like, you know, that's going to keep all the pigeons and, I don't know, fucking ice dragons or some shit out. I, who even knows what else is in this mod? I feel like having some proper like, sky protection is a great idea. Wouldn't want some SMG turrets too or another SMG baker like you there you go use all the resources you worked so hard to get it's why you got them for the sake of making everything symmetrical i've put in some more ladders on this side but not only for that but also i've left the gap in the middle so i can still throw pipe bombs and molotovs through them but i can take cover over here and still shoot through for any sort of coppers or anything showing up just a little bit of cover for me and baza seems like a great idea I've left the door open downstairs, drop around, quickly open up you. I've also got some force fields here to jump onto these ladders to move around should I need to. Without falling all the way down and definitely breaking my legs. That's still a real sketchy drop there though. Make sure I'm warm. All right, it's quarter to seven. I'm gonna start chucking in some electricity. Down in here, it may seem like a really good place to fall back to. However, there's water in the bottom and it's also just a death trap. You get trapped in here. You're never getting out ever again. Can I go like that? I, in fact, you know what? You know what? Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a new floor at a more appropriate level at the bottom of the ladder like that so I can fill in all the gaps and not fall down into the muck. I'm not going to attach the battery bank to the wall because there is splash damage on cult vomit and I don't want it leaking through and doing some sort of number on the other side. Baker, can I grab... Do you have all, all like, the batteries and shit still inside you? Or do I leave them... Probably left them in the chest downstairs, actually. Uh, down to you. I need... Yeah, there you are. You two, please. I've got... I have a wire tool as well. That can all stay in there. I've got a lot of ammo and a good lot of explosives as well. Right. Down we go. Into you. Here's this one and that one. I've got two wire tools. That was bloody silly of me. All right. Well, grab you. And start figuring out where I'm going to chuck the rest of the wires. Electric fences, spotlights, and... Yeah, some relays as well. Where do I want the spotlights to go? Where's the best spot for the lights? I'm going to put one light. Just like a little, like, spit of terrain, of ground, stuck out to the side out there. Uh, most because then it can light straight down the gas. There'll be some shadows getting cast, but that's not so bad. I want to put the other one, I think, up... Do I even have the option to put it up there, actually? Up, over to you. Over to you. Do I have a good little spot for you in here somewhere? Like, I can put it there. That's right in the way of everything. Um. Oh, hang on a second. I have an idea. I have an idea. If I go like you and I uh, completely fall off the side, but if I chuck in some little platforms there that I can stand on, I might be able to put one kind of up on the roof, I guess. Somewhere like up and out of the way. It might get vomited on, which would suck. But yeah, if I put you there, that should be out of the way. That should be enough out of the way. That's all good. You can stay. Get rid of both of you guys and to run some electricity. It's already 8 o'clock. I'm running out of time. I've got my lights wired up. They're all fine. But I want to find a way to chuck in my electric fences. I want to have it going through that spot there. Why are you pink? Why, why are you pink? I don't know if I can... Oh, that's one on that side, though. Some things are just pink even when they are supported. That should be supported. And that's kind of on the level I wanted to put it at. I'm going to try... This could collapse the entire base. Oh, my God. That was scary. Okay, that's fine. You can go there. I mean, yeah, I know that's kind of like my platform to get in and out, but it's just going to have to do. I'll also repair it as well, which is going to be handy. You can go across to that one. I just need to run some power out to you from inside. Up we go. Go from where I get you... Grab that. Thank you very much. And chuck your onto. Can reach from here. Not quite. Hang on. Yeah. To them. To that one. Perfect. All right. So I turn that on. Electric fence is on. Lights go on. I've got 45 minutes. Chuck some shit away and get rid of the rock and roll. It's all about to happen. I think I have everything that I need. I'm still rolling some money on me, which I don't actually need on me at all. I'm going to quickly turn on all of you. We're going to chuck that money in my box downstairs. Up oh, over to that one. Nice. All the way through to the other side. You can hold on to that for me. Should we actually put like these chests inside the bunker I've got rather than out here potentially get broken? But that is a job for future me because current meme, 
now has to fight a horde. Bazan, what the diddly squad are you doing there, champion? You want to come stand over where I'm standing, please? Stand where I'm standing. Go on. Oh, no. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, there's a lot coming. Baz, Baz, I need, I, I need to win, bud. Uh, oh my god, I can't pick you up. I can't talk to him. He's glitched. He's glitched. Baz is glitched. All right. Well, he's just gonna be a sniper then, I suppose. If that works for you, that works for you. Oh, they found they found a sneaky extra way to get through. They no longer go on the long way around. They're cutting through the snow. I mean, all right then. It's only because there was a big cluster of them, actually. They might actually uh, sort itself out later on. I'm going to drop you down like that. I'm going to drop you. Oh, that's a shit shot. Have a follow-up all the way down to the bottom, please. I'm going to put one right there, too. Right on the railing. Oh, he has a couple of... Baz, what are you doing? Why are you broken? I need you with me, buddy. I've got an idea about how I can get Bazza back again because at the moment, he's just definitely broken up there. PG just licked the spike. He's gone. I can't... I should be focusing on the ones who are much, much closer. I'm used to having Bazza with me looking after close quarters and me just having to take care of whoever's coming in from a bit further range. Yeah, it's fine. You can break that bar as much as you want. I don't really mind. Could do with some armor piercing 762s, actually, if I'm being completely honest with you. Reload Yoom. The rifle was so good last time, but it's not quite cutting the mustard this time. There goes your name. There goes you entirely. And there goes Yoom. Oh, jeez. Baz, I need you with me. I've got to go for it. I've got to go. This is a really bad idea, but I've got to try. In fact, that's going to be helpful with the... Oh, that's going to be very helpful, actually. With the sledgy and the electric fences. That works. Spike. I need to grab Yoom. I'm just going to chuck it down somewhere so I can jump on it for two seconds. Get Bazza to respawn next to me. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to hit the zombies, not the concrete. I mean, this might work. This might work for the moment. Grab the loot. Thank you. Shotgun rounds. Put you back a little bit. Can even get a couple of volleys on the rifle going soon. Go on. One more round. Missed it. But... Like, this should work. This should be okay. Oh, that's a doggo. If I can get this to keep on going the way I want it to, I don't even need to use my rifle upstairs. I'm going to go put my plan into action. Oh, there's zombies everywhere out here. Zombies bloody everywhere. Over we go. I'm going to put the bike just kind of anywhere in here. Did that get Bazza back? It didn't get Bazza back. I need him. I need him to be follow me for that to work and he's glitched. All right. We're going Bazzalus. Down we go. In fact, if it's nice close quarters like that, I can probably just roll with the shotgun. That should work. Um, Can you guys please hold that one for me? This is going to be dicey. I'm going to throw that over. That's lit. Run away. It didn't... It went through. It went through. Didn't even hit the zombies I needed to hit. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. And you need to piss off as well. Oh, God. Yeah, this, um, this is definitely not the plan of action I had for tonight. At the very least, I can just use my sledgehammer to make pretty good dents in them. I did just pick up some night vision goggles from one of the loot bags too. Gone. Oh, I love watching him sit and jiggle so I can swat him in the face. What? Right. <laughs> Wait on. There we go. That one instead. Doggo. Doggo gone. Also Yoon. Ow! Doggo bit. But that's okay. I, th I just need to rely on the shotgun more. I think, I think the shotgun's more more gooder for me than the rifle is when I'm doing it from this point. If I was up the top, if Baz was still working, we'd be fine, but... Like, how do I even get you back? What are you doing up there? I can hear a Pidgey up in... Oh, there he is, up in the sky. But I still have some spikes above me. Are you going to work for me? Not quite. Not quite. I need to... Hang on a second. I need to put you down. There we go. Gotcha. I was going to move and back attention to where I should be. I'm worried about the birds in the sky. Isn't the whole point of the power attacks and the sledge you have, like, crowd control? Shouldn't I be sitting all out? All of you down, all in one, one go, rather than... Whatever's happening here, sod it. I tried to go sledgy. Sledgy let me down. Shotgun never does. I thought I heard another pigeon, but we're okay. They're going for the windows over that side. Quickly repair you. Make sure you're good. That's a copper. I do have protection for that, but he's going to make his way inside. Ah, see? Ah, see? That's why you use the ladders. They're so good. Caught that perfectly for me. There's that copper. That is what I am going to use the rifle for. That was four rounds, and he's still going. Can you move, please? I'm trying to kill the copper in the background. Oh, who was having a heart attack? Lucky last pill. Five rounds from a rifle, and copper's just like, please feed me more. And I feel like that's one of your favorite saves. You've got those, like a bumper sticker, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> You're so in tune with that. You're basically a villain in Austin Powers. God. Shit shooting by me. 
Shotgun. There you go. Hey, why don't I bother using the rifle? Save the rifle for the coppers. Shotgun for everyone else. The range on the shot is actually pretty bloody good. I can kill them before they even get close through the electric fence. So I can say the electric fence is uh, HP a little bit because I can't actually repair you. I could have had the materials, but I don't have that. Wait for it. Perfect. Perfect. Look at the damage it does. Max level shotguns is just a goddamn dream. Sats. You too. And you as well. The chance of a decap is like 50% and the dismemberment chance is even higher again. So it's just a squish factory out there. Took off the noggin of Arlene and your arm and you. One finally made it through for just a moment, but I saw it about nice and quick. Gone. Gone. Oh, it's, it's bloody gorgeous. There's two coppers. There goes one. There goes two. Turns out if you get some nice juicy school ouchy headshots, you do a whole lot better at dropping cops than just putting some through their throats. Well, close up. <laughs> Whoever needs the auto shotty? Although max level shotguns with the auto shotty, how fast would that fire? Because the biggest disappointment with the auto shotty was just it doesn't fire anywhere near fast enough. I wanted full AA-10, like fully automatic fire, not like casual semi-automatic at best. So if I can get like some proper automatic stuff going with the auto shotty, now that I've maxed into shotguns, might be worthwhile. I love the Pompey, but I might love the auto too. In all of this, I didn't even bother putting in any recog, and I don't really think I need to at this point. There's a pretty consistent level of zombies coming through. I see it. Oh, I didn't get there in time. Did put a round into you though. Can you please move? I'll get you next time then. Never mind. Need to reload that rifle in a moment when I get a bit of a gap. Like that one will do nicely. Can you please piss off please? I'm trying to reload my rifle. Get it in faster. Perfect. And then gone. Just the timing. The timing everything is working out so much in my favor. You're definitely loaded. Their cop is going to be showing up in just a moment though. So keep your eyes on the door. Reload you soon. That's the wrong gun. That's not the shotgun. Hold on. You need to be loaded for the copper. Who's going to be? There he is. I knew it. Wait for... No. Son of a bitch. I had the smoke in my face. I couldn't bloody see where I was aiming. The smoke of the rounds previously fired. It's a little glitch, but it sucks when it happens. I mean, look, I had some issues with this base at the start, but now that it's... Oh, I just shot the bike, I think. So I might have shot Bazza. Sorry about that. But now that it's... Oh, how? How are you in? How did you get past my, like, three spikes? I probably should have put some more in. Right as a copper roo shows up as well. I missed all those shots. Finally got that last one. I had to shoot past the collarbone or whatever it was of old mate then. Uh-oh. I've walked the wrong way. Pigeon's gone. I strung him up to bleed him. Yeah, okay. I need to... I need to get a better solution for those. As much as I love having Christmas ornaments hanging around, because it is the Christmas season. I kind of wish it was a little prettier. You're the worst bauble ever. It's getting... It's getting a little calm. It's getting a little quiet. Am I somewhat near the end of the horde? Have I just been massacring the zombies so well? I heard a pitch. They're like, are getting towards the end of it? I don't think so. You're still shaking your head, but I don't think you're the one that was coming in just a second ago. No, I see up. I see up. That's the angle that I have trouble with. That's where they managed to get underneath the spikes from. You're gone. I said I thought I was near the end of the horde. I'm definitely not. Another biker coming in. My shotgun's looking very much worse for when. Quick little repair. And then right back to it again. There's some moaning and groaning, but not really much else. We may actually finish the horde. Rather than timing it out, we might get to the end of this. This is pretty simple cricket. Just wait for them to line up with some headshots like that and then take their heads apart. You're wearing a helmet, but not for long. <laughs> that extra decap chance is so good. Look at that. Look at that. Don't even need to decap. Just sat them down here. We've got 12,000 experience on the truck at the moment. Also got a shotgun book out of someone's bag. Thank you. I'm gonna chuck you in straight away. Why not? Some extra health and some extra food. It's basically a freebie. I haven't, I haven't loaded my AK this whole time. Never even loaded my AK. Shotguns or no guns. <laughs> this is obscene. This is obscene. I, I would have thought I'd be fighting up there by now, but I haven't had to take a step backwards. We're all good. The fire's still cracking. The shotgun's still cracking. And the zombies are still dying. Here comes a nice little cluster. I wanted the tripler. Wasn't to be. Could almost got the doubler anyway. Loz is gone. Wait for Moz. Boop. 
We've got 10 more minutes. And also, like, the other good thing about this as well, I inadvertently grabbed, like, a little loot catcher. All the bags just stay at the top. And other than a bit of damage to, like, where the shotgun pellets are going, because shotguns kill buildings as well as zombies, that there needs to be repaired. That hatch needs to be repaired. I mean, I could probably replace it with an iron, an iron shutters, I think. Can I even make one of those? Shutters. I could if I had the iron for it, but I do not. Look at them. The slow trundle towards their death. Come on in. Come one. Come all. <laughs> I'm more than happy to play with you. I reckon I'm pretty good to start chucking all of my stuff away. That's my everyday carry stuff. You can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. You can wait till later. Oh. <laughs> so complacent. So cocky. So complacent, but still so alive. You can all wait in there. The fire's now turned off. Uh, I will grab all my tools and stuff. There's a bunch of loot bags out there that I want to get. You can go. In fact, I need to get the mods back out of you. They belong in some other weapons that I like to use. So you can go away and away. Nice, guys. Nice, guys. That's gone so bloody well. I've turned off the electricity, so I'm fine to run through my own electric fences to see what I can get on the inside. I still have my hammer on me. Take all of you. In fact, can I quickly go? Yeah, you need a little bit of love. You're going to need some iron. I'm going to have to come back with some iron later on. Take all of you. All of you. Oh, that was a sledgehammer book. A double storage pocket mod schematic. A chlamydia mod. And a T3 iron shovel. Some good things to sell in there, actually. Oh, yeah. Sledgehammer book. Didn't unlock anything. Read you as well. I'm clapped on bolts. So I have to go and get a few more boxes around the place. Read you. That'll do. We're done. What do you reckon, Baz? You never even bloody moved, your sausage. I'm going to leave this episode here, though. The job is done. The base is working really bloody well. Turns out I over-engineered it. Don't even need that top rung. It's nice for Barry if he stands where I want him to, to clack out with that SMG. But if I sit behind that barrier with the sledgehammer and the shotgun, the shotgun especially, rinse the zombies like there is no tomorrow. But because I have survived, there is going to be a tomorrow. But... That was the, another fortnight of days. That's the day 28 horde, which means we are upping the difficulty and the zombie speeds again. So as much as the shotgun just decimated all, it's about to get worse. But how could you go wrong? How did you go wrong with a steel sledgy and a shotgun? So I'll have to come back and find out how it can go wrong in the next episode because this episode is done. But before I wrap this up properly, this is Christmas Eve for me as I'm filming this, so it is the holiday period. So a massive Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever, whatever holiday period you celebrate this time of year, I hope it is fantastic and wonderful and as good as it could possibly be for whatever you want it to be for. Also, Happy New Year. Um, there will still be videos obviously coming out out. I mean, filming ahead so I can go have a break, but there will still be videos all the way through. And then, yeah, 2024 is right around the corner. But yeah, we'll come back and face 2024, not straight away, but pretty soon in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like liked, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.